the world over, it is the task of the armed forces to intervene when a situation overcomes the police and other paramilitary services. The occurrence starting from the 18th of October were nothing but violence and lawlessness. Throughout the NSAS protests, which started in early October, the Nigerian army was not involved in the protest or did not intervene in any shape or form. It was this state of affairs which occurred by 12 p.m. on the 20th that made the governor of Mr. Babajide Sonolu to ask the army to intervene. And in my opinion, that was the correct thing to do since the police had been overrun and were fighting for their life. Due to the urgency of the situation, it is no wonder the governor declared a 24 hour which was supposed to start by four o'clock. Analyzing that further, it shows the situation was so dire and they wanted everyone off the streets. After some observation, this timing was shifted to 2100 hours, that is 9 p.m. However, these timings were not communicated to the Nigerian army. Be that as it may, the Nigerian army deployed immediately to forestall further violence and loss of lives. This deployment, contrary to what is out there, was done throughout Lagos State upon receipt of the signal to activate phase four of IS operations.